Welcome to the MJ School of Mining and Geology. We are happy to take you through the geophysical method widely known as seismic method. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the ring bell to be notified every time we upload new content. Seismic method refer to method which use seismic velocities to measure the elastic properties of Earth's material. These techniques provide detailed information about subsurface layering and subsurface mechanical properties using seismic waves. Seismic waves propagate through a rock body at a velocity which is governed by elastic properties such as stress and strain and density of geological formation. A seismic source such as sledgehammer or seismic thumper truck is used to generate seismic waves sensed by receivers deployed along a present geometry called receiver array or geophone and then recorded by a digital device called seismograph. There are two groups of seismic waves such as body waves and surface waves. Body waves are the waves that can propagate through the internal volume of an elastic solid materials. Body wave is divided into compressional waves such as primary waves and shear waves, also known as transverse or secondary waves. Primary wave travel with a velocity that depends on the elastic properties of the rock through which they travel. These waves has the highest velocity than all seismic waves and thus will reach all the seismograph first. Secondary wave travel through material by shearing it or changing its shape in the direction perpendicular to the direction of travel. These waves travel slower than the primary waves since they reach seismograph after primary waves. Surface waves are the waves which propagate along the boundary of the solid material on the Earth. These waves behave like secondary waves in that they cause up and down and side-to-side -side movement as they pass, but they travel slower than secondary waves and do not travel through the body of the Earth. These waves are of two types which are Love's waves and Rayleigh waves. Love waves are polarized shear waves with a particle motion parallel to the free surface and perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. Rayleigh waves propagate along a free surface or along the boundary between two dissimilar solid media, the associated particle motion being elliptical in a plane perpendicular to the surface and containing the direction of propagation surface waves. Seismic method is subdivided into two types. These are reflection method and refraction method. Let us take a close look into each subdivision. Stay tuned. At the critical angle for each interface, the energy refracted 90 degrees, the seismic wave will travel along the interface with the velocity of the underlying layer. Since primary waves are the fastest portion of the seismic wave, they represent the first arriving energy at each geophone, either direct or refracted. Seismic reflection is the primary geophysical method used in oil and gas exploration and operated on density and elastic module of subsurface materials. This method usually gives better resolution, that is, makes it possible to see smaller features than other methods, with the exception of measurements made in close proximity, as with borehole logs. The seismic method work in a pretty simple way. The thumber truck produces the waves which are sent to the underlying layers. These waves will be reflected off the boundaries to be detected by geophones until seismograph is created. Seismic reflection surveys result in detailed images of and can provide crucial information on subsurface rock layers. Through this technology, oil and gas companies gain valuable insights into potential reserves. Seismic refraction method is a method to determine the primary wave velocity structure of the subsurface. It has been used in mineral investigations to map low-velocity alluvial deposits such as those that may contain gold, tin, or sand and gravel. Application of this method in geoenvironmental work includes studying the structure, thickness, and hydrology of tailings and extent of acid mine drainage around the mineral deposit. Therefore, reflection seismic methods provide fine structural detail and refraction methods provide precise estimates of depth to lithologies of different acoustic impedance. Seismic data are physical observations, measurements, or estimates about seismic sources, seismic waves, and their propagating media. The form of seismic data varies and include analog graphs, digital time series, maps, text, or ideas in some cases. We focus on the analysis of data on body waves, mostly P waves, in their transmission, reflection, diffraction, refraction, and turning process to identify and enhance the desired signal by suppress various kinds of noise in the data. The goal of seismic data processing is to help interpretation, the process of deciphering the usual information contained in the data. Seismic data interpretation and modeling is based on process data and seismic imaging conducted to produce various forms of imagery for the interpretation process. 
Seismic modeling done after data interpretation and generate predictions to compare with the real measurements and thus verify the interpretation. In conclusion, this method is employed for hydrocarbon exploration by providing a high-resolution map of acoustic impedance and petroleum geologists and geophysicists interpret potential petroleum reservoirs easily. It is used in mineral exploration by identifying massive sulfid bodies since massive sulfid bodies have higher seismic velocities and densities than their host rocks. Used to predict the depth, thickness of geologic strata and structural. Thank you for joining us today. Your support is highly appreciated.